Question 1. Where would you expect to see these markers? On a large goods vehicle. Question 2. What's the main hazard shown in this picture? The cyclist crossing the road. Question 3. Which road user has caused a hazard? The parked car, Aero Day. Question 4. What should the driver of the car approaching the crossing do? Slow down and get ready to stop. Question 5. What should the driver of the grey car be especially aware of? Doors opening on parked cars. Question 6. What should you expect if you see this sign ahead? The road will bend sharply to the left. Question 7. What should you do as you approach this cyclist? Slow down and allow the cyclist to turn. Question 8. Why must you take great care when emerging from this junction? The view is restricted. Question 9. Which type of vehicle should you be ready to give way to as you approach this bridge? Buses. Question 10. What type of vehicle could you expect to meet in the middle of the road? Lorry. Question 11. What must you do at this junction? Stop behind the line, then edge forward to see clearly. Question 12. What should you do if a driver pulls out of a side road in front of you, causing you to break hard? Ignore the error and stay calm. Question 13. How would age affect an older person's driving ability? They'll take longer to react to hazards. Question 14. Do you need to plan rest stops when you're planning a long journey? Yes, regular stops help concentration. Question 15. What should you do if the red lights start flashing as you approach a level crossing? Stop before the barrier. Question 16. You're approaching a crossroads. What should you do if the traffic lights have failed? Yeah. 
be prepared to stop for any traffic. Question 17. What should the driver of the red car, Aeroad, do? Wait for the pedestrian in the road to cross. Question 18. You're following a slower moving vehicle. What should you do if there's a junction just ahead on the right? Only consider overtaking when you're past the junction. Question 19. What should you do as you approach this overhead bridge? Be prepared to give way to large vehicles in the middle of the road. Question 20. Why are vehicle mirrors often slightly curved, convex? They give a wider field of vision. Question 21. You're driving on a three-lane motorway. How should you overtake a slow-moving lorry in the middle lane if it's showing this sign? Approach with care and overtake on the left of the lorry. Question 22. What should you do if you think the driver of the vehicle in front has forgotten to cancel their right indicator? Stay behind and don't overtake. Question 23. What's the main hazard the driver of the red car, Aeroad, should be aware of? The bus may move out into the road. Question 24. What type of vehicle displays this yellow sign? A school bus. Question 25. What hazard should you be aware of when traveling along this street? Children running out between vehicles. Question 26. What's the main hazard you should be aware of when following this cyclist? The cyclist may swerve into the road. Question 27. A driver's behavior has upset you. How can you get over this incident safely? Stop and take a break. Question 28. How should you drive in areas with traffic calming measures? At a reduced speed. Question 29. Why should you slow down as you approach this hazard? Because of the level crossing. Question 30. Why are place names painted on the road surface? To help you select the correct lane in good time. Question 31. Some two-way roads are divided into three lanes. Why are they particularly dangerous? Yeah. 
Traffic in both directions can use the middle lane to overtake. Question 32. What type of vehicle uses an amber flashing beacon on a dual carriageway? A tractor. Question 33. What does this signal from a police officer mean to non-coming traffic? Stop. Question 34. Why should you be cautious when going past this bus waiting at a bus stop? People may cross the road in front of it. Question 35. Where would it be unsafe to overtake? Approaching a junction. Question 36. How can drinking alcohol affect your ability to drive? Your ability to judge speed will be reduced. Question 37. What does the solid white line at the side of the road indicate? Edge of the carriageway. Question 38. You're driving towards this level crossing. What would be the first warning of an approaching train? A steady amber light. Question 39. You're behind this cyclist. When the traffic lights change, what should you do? Allow the cyclist time and room. Question 40. You intend to turn left at the traffic lights. What should you do just before turning? Check for bicycles on your left. Question 41. Why should you reduce your speed here? A staggered junction is ahead. Question 42. What might you expect to happen in this situation? Traffic will move into the left-hand lane. Question 43. You're driving on a road with several lanes. What do these signs above the lanes mean? The two left lanes are open. Question 44. You're invited to a pub lunch. What should you do if you know that you'll have to drive in the evening? Don't drink any alcohol at all. Question 45. What will become more expensive after you've been convicted of driving while unfit through drink or drugs? Insurance premiums. Question 46. What advice should you give to a driver who has had a few alcoholic drinks at a party?
go home by public transport. Question 47. What should you do about driving if you've been taking medicine that causes drowsiness? Avoid driving and check with your doctor. Question 48. What should you do if a doctor prescribes drugs that are likely to affect your driving? Get someone else to drive. Question 49. What must you do if your ability to drive is impaired during a period of illness? Stop driving until you're fit to drive again. Question 50. What should you do if you begin to feel drowsy while you're driving? Stop and rest as soon as possible.